and may have overlooked her presence today as she paid respect to the late President and Prime Minister Arthur N. R. Robinson. Lenore Dorsett, former Chief Protocol Officer, was one of the most important people in Mr. Robinson's life. Today, she took a moment to be with the humble and simple man she knew since his early days in politics. Charlene Lewis has more. Lenore Dorsett knew the many sides of former President and Prime Minister Arthur Napoleon Raymond Robinson. From his early days in politics being affiliated with the People's National Movement and later as President and Prime Minister, Ms. Dorsett served as Senior Protocol Officer for ANR Robinson when he was President. She said the perception that he was always serious and complex was a misconception. Ms. Dorsett was speaking to the media on the second day of the five-day state memorial for Mr. Robinson. I thank God that he had the wisdom to understand. And what comes to mind is something which came up, I believe, in 1989, around the time when the West Indi West Indian Commission was being set up, and the thought of let all ideas contend. What remains with me was a humility that many may not have seen, and a simplicity, because he was not complex, as some people think. Ms. Dorset, who first served as a service officer in what was once called the Ministry of External Affairs, described the late Mr. Robinson as remarkable. Um, having come with Noah and the Flood, um, I have seen many persons, and um, he was one of the remarkable ones. Ms. Dorset is credited in playing a key role in getting Mr. Robinson to pen an autobiography in the midst of it. She is thanked by Mr. Robinson in the book, which was published in 2012. Ms. Dorset also played a key role in a transition from President George Maxwell Richards to President Anthony Thomas Aquinas Camona. The late president's coffin, positioned in the center of the lobby of the Parliament building, was placed on the catafalque and draped with the national flag. Mr. Robinson's daughter, Anne Margaret, House Speaker Wade Mark, and President of the Senate, Timothy Hamill Smith, was also present today to greet those who came to pay their respects. Among them was President of Dominica, Charles Savran. Several school children and members of the public also took the opportunity to say their goodbyes. Charlene Lewis, C News.